So changes could be coming for paid parking in downtown Houston or wherever parking meters are in the city of Houston. Currently, you have to pay for parking between 7 a.m. and 6 p.m. from Monday through Saturday, but it could be extended to 2 a.m. I talked with Houston City Council member Dr. Carolyn Shabazz about this potential change and what it would mean for you. So, Council member, the mayor has gone on record saying the city is broke. Is that a bit exaggerated or we're just in the red? Do we need money? Well, certainly we need money. Uh, I wouldn't consider us to be broke, but there are things that need to get done that will require funding. And so from that perspective, I can maybe deal with it. But, you know, they say the power of life and death lies in the tongue. So I'm <laughs> not really feeling saying that the city is broke. Now, one of the things that you guys are considering increasing the hours of parking fees, not the actual parking fee, but how long you will charge. Typically, it shuts off at 6 p.m. each day. But now you're looking at 2 a.m. That's correct. And it's certainly to address the city's financing. And so the perspective is that there will be revenue that will be raised from allowing the hours to go to 2 a.m. as opposed to 6 p.m. How do you think the public will react to that, you know, having to pay extended fees? Uh, many people work at night and they find this is a perfect opportunity to save some money in this era of inflation and increased prices around the country. That's actually something that I need to get some feedback from my own constituents because certainly we have some no parking areas in uh, District D as well. And so we always have to look to see, you know, what the other ramifications could be that could be negative in regards to raising the revenue. But certainly um, it's going to be a very important factor that we look at in the future to see if we can kind of pull ourselves up by our own bootstraps without taxing people mm -hmm. and also people that are actually going to be the consumers of the parking would actually be the ones that would feel the impact. Do you think the agreement with the Houston firefighters had any impact on this at all? I think the, the average cost I'm hearing is like 70 plus million dollars a year. It will cost the city to pay the firefighters. Do you think this may be part of paying them or Certainly, that's something that has to be considered because that's a huge bill. And I'm certainly going to go on record to say that they are deserving of raises. But certainly, I don't want to impact all of our other city departments as well as the constituents in trying to meet the demand of the high price for the firefighters. But I'm certainly of the belief that it does have some impact. And when we think about parking fees, we don't think about a whole lot of money, but we're talking about millions of dollars, right? Absolutely. Uh, when you add it up, it's certainly going to equate, I think, to additional $8 million, you know, which is something that could certainly be used uh, throughout the city. But my biggest uh, point is to not impact the residents and constituents in a detrimental man manner. Uh, I certainly uh, am well aware, and I commend my colleagues for coming up with an idea and not just saying that we don't have money, so we don't do anything at all. So I commend them certainly for bringing this to the agenda. Are there any other areas that we could look at here in the city of Houston where we can generate more revenue, where we may be hemorrhaging money and not really paying close attention to it? Well, that's something that, they were gonna, that we're going to have to look at as a city. The evaluation, of course, of course, about the controller and the mayor will determine whether there are some things that need to be cut. And so without having that data, I really can't say what would be a a better opportunity or even another opportunity to raise money for the city. And I think the records indicated that before the pandemic, we generated 10 million a year and we're looking at an additional 8 million. So that could be 18 million up to 20 million a year. So you guys are looking at possibly voting on this this week, right? probably Wednesday, but I kind of foresee that it may get tagged so that people such as myself can get more information because we certainly want to make sure that it's a, a, a decision that's going to be not only beneficial to the city, but not detrimental to the constituents.
Now, Houston Mayor John Whitmire has released a statement today. It reads, under the city charter, council members have a right to put an item on the city council agenda for consideration if three of them agree. I support their right to do it. In this case, three council members are playing an active role by introducing an idea to help bring additional revenue to the city. Such a privilege also comes with a duty to do more than present a good idea. I anticipate forthcoming conversations about data analysis and stakeholder engagement will help the other council members and I make an informed decision about whether this idea has merit. Still